It's time for Wenatchee High School Boys Basketball on the NCW Life Channel. High School Sports on the NCW Life Channel is brought to you by the Walkabout Grill in Wenatchee and Leavenworth. TC Slingers, they'll place the material for you. Confluence Health, Wenatchee's premier treatment center. Les Schwab Tires in Wenatchee and East Wenatchee. The Windmill Restaurant in Wenatchee. And the Wenatchee Racket and Athletic Club. And now let's go courtside with our friends from Coho Radio, Mark Miller and Ian Dunn. Hey. So ready for the tip. It's up. It will go the way of the Panthers. Parmenter will control it for Wenatchee. He'll hand it off to Garrett Long. He'll set up the offense to start things off. Eastmont looks to be in a man-to-man -man defense to start off. And that's usually good for the Panthers. In it goes to Carlson. Turns. Off glass and in with the left hand. They left Darius one-on-one. -on -one. You can't do that. Panthers will pick it up full court. Just token pressure as... Lisa, or excuse me, Cavillo brings it into the front court. Now here's Lisan, guarded by guess who? Jelsing. Can he shut him down? Looks for the open shot. Now passes off to Cavillo, right side. Cavillo comes to his left, behind the back. Now into the lane, to the hoop. Hits the underside of the backboard. Panthers coming back the other way quickly. Here's Carlson in transition to the hoop. And the bucket. Talked about who might have the big game. Darius, two shots, four points. Less than a minute. Four-nothing lead for the Panthers as Eastmont will operate the offense again. Here's Cavillo working to his left, guarded by Long. Now he'll come to the right. Hand off to Kuski. Kuski penetrates, kicks it out. Here's Simpson into the lane. Lots to handle, but a foul's called. I think it'll be on Parmenter. It's going to be with the body while driving to the basket. But I think the Wildcat may have actually lost control of the ball before the hit was made. Wildcats will check it in baseline left. And it comes out top to Cavillo. Cavillo, crossover dribble into the lane. Pull-up shot. Off the glass, no good. Parmenter, high for the rebound. And he's fouled in the backcourt. Early in the year, Parmier would not have kept that rebound. Went in hard, had elbows high, two hands on the ball. As Eastmont was fighting to get to it, the kid has grown up on us. Fouls on Wellborn. Panthers will check it in, facing the full court pressure. No, just a man-to-man -man press. So as everybody drops back, Long takes it into the front court easily. Garrett will set up the offense. Here's Blauman on the right wing. Blauman, hesitation dribble, kicks it to Long. Long into the into the lane. He's fouled on the shot attempt. Garrett Long likes to go to the hoop, likes to fill up amongst the trees, has been really, really very valiant on drawing those fouls. Uh-oh, second foul on Parmenter. <laughs> Oh, you're right. The foul fouls on their number one. <laughs> Is there a number one in the game? Oh, player number two. Okay. Long Not our number two. <laughs> Long rattles in and out on the first one. Okay. Garrett, he's a good shooter, but he hasn't done quite as well at the line this year. For whatever reason, he makes one of two. We'll take it. Five-nothing lead for Wenatchee. The two Wenatchee victories were by double digits. The lone Eastmont win is by a single point. The last Here. second shot. Yep. Leeson hit it. Here's Leeson, guarded by Jelsing. Boy, Jelsing's on him tightly. Leeson drives. Has it blocked away by Parmenter. But he got the rebound. Now he'll put it back up and hit short. There's Blauman with the rebound. So Panthers with the ball, leading by five. 5.45 to go here in the first quarter as Parmenter, the floater, in and out. Carlson, the rebound. No basket. And the putback, they're waving it off. They're saying a foul before the shot. No foul on Carlson. Wow. Pushing going for the offensive rebound. It's probably on his buddy Wellborn. As Panthers kind of settle back in defense here, we play in your belly button defense so there is a lot of chances for drives but everybody is tight tight no sag so Jelsing on Leeson here's Wellborn an outside shot off the mark and the rebound Jelsing to Jelsing ahead it comes to Carlson 
So far, J.J. doing a good job on Lee San, who just had a huge game against Wenatchee when Eastmont won it here. Lee San's 0 for 1 from the field. Here's Parminer. Now Jelsing left side looking for the cutter. Hands it to Blauman. Blauman inside to Carlson. Turn. Drop step to the hoop. Blocked away. But there's a foul. It was, it was, Wellborn was the guy that blocked him. It was one-on-one -on -one coverage, but then Wellborn did come in late to help on the backside. And I think the block may have been clean. I think that he got there late. Where are you going to get that call? And like you said, those two guys have played enough schoolyard ball. He's, he's familiar with all of Darius's moves. Blocked him that time, but he does pick up the foul as second as Carlson hits the free throw. So Wellborn's going to come out. Also coming into the game, Preston Esparza, the 5'10 junior. Free throws off the mark. Permanent in there for the rebound. He'll come out with it. Hits the deck. <laughs> Impressive. So in the game, we have Tanner Nelson, the 6'4 junior, along with Preston Esparza. So here's Blauman, baseline drive, lost the handle. Esparza, very quick guard. So it's Lee San and Esparza in there. A couple of very quick guards. Here's Esparza on the right wing, guarded by Carlson. Now it comes to Kuski. Blauman on him to Cavillo. Cavillo off the screen to the right, into the lane. It. Oh, questionable And a foul, foul called. called. Could be on Carlson if that's so. That would be his second foul. It was a quick drive to the hoop. Carlson did have presence, had his hands out there, and, and didn't initiate the contact, but was there for it. Problem is, that's two fouls. Darius Carlson halfway through the oh, first. Oh, you'd hate to see that. Darius is such an important player for the Panthers, but replacing him is Cam Cooper, the 6'1 junior. As the ball inbounded, also coming in for Wenatchee, Lane Nip for the 5'10 junior. Lane, a good ball handler and a decent outside shooter. Kicks the ball coming in on the inbounds. We we'll take it in baseline right, and it comes to Esparza to the hoop, quickly up with the right hand and in. First bucket for the Wildcats. It's now 6-2 Wenatchee, 4-11 to go here in the first quarter. Panthers on offense now. Here's Nipfer with it. Cross court to Jelsing. Got a three guard lineup in there now. Here's Long now to Nipfer. He'll try the three ball. Yes, a win. Nothing but net three points. And it's a change. We've been counting inside until then. And in the front court quickly comes the Wildcats. Panthers with a 9 2 lead. Also in the game, Trey Haberlock, the 5 10 sophomore. So a bunch of guards in the lineup for Coach Waters right now. Here's Haberlock. Now to Kuski. Off his foot. Scramble for the ball. Still on the court. And then a reach in foul on Garrett Long. Parminer's hustle nearly forced a turnover. And as the loose one, Long gets there a tenth of a second too late. And then the loose ball scrimmage gets the foul call. Fourth team foul on Wenatchee as Spencer Rickle comes into the game, a 6 2 senior. Comes in for Cooper. Here's Esparza down the lane. The kick to Nelson. Now to Leeson. Leeson into the lane. No shot. Kicks it out to Kuski. Kuski, crossover dribble. Penetrates. Now to Nelson. Nelson, baseline move. Now back out. Now the jumper. Off the mark and the rebound to Garrett Long. Excellent block out by Long. Pan foot. Panthers with the ball, leading 9-2, to two, under three minutes to play here in the first quarter. It's been a very fast-paced affair, as you would expect, between these two rivals. Here's Nipfer. He'll pull up for the jumper again, off the back iron. And there's Rickle going for the rebound, but there's a foul. J.J. Jelson tried to come over the back, and he did tip it to keep the ball alive. But will be called for the first one. Now five team fouls on Wenatchee, first on J.J. 2.40 to go here in the first quarter. Panthers on top, 9-2. to two. Eastmont with the ball. Kuski across the timeline to his right. 
Now he turns on the Jets. Now kicks it out to Leeson. Knocked away from him momentarily. Yes. Jelsing has to steal. Hands it off to Rickle. Not the guy you want to hand it off to. Now Jelsing drives. Kicks it to Long outside. Now Garrett will set up the offense since, here in the half court. Since Carlson's out, we've been looking at outside shots instead of pounding it in. Nope. Trying to go inside to Rickle. Stolen away by Esparza. Into the front court he comes. To the hoop. Underhand scoop. Floater up and in. How did he find that gap? 9-4 lead for Wenatchee. Timeout on the court. 2.02 to go here in the quarter. We'll be back after this timeout on Coho. You're listening to Panther Basketball here on Coho 101. 2.02 to go here in the first quarter. Panthers up by five, nine to four lead. Darius Carlson on the bench with two fouls. So Panthers, their offense, as Mark mentioned, it's mostly outside shots since Darius went out of the game. Here's another outside shot by Long and Parmenter almost had the oh, rebound. Leeson in the open court. Now to Esparza. He'll pull up for the shot. No, an offensive foul called on Esparza. And he knew it. Led him with the forearm to clear space. That rebound by Anthony Leeson cut through two Panthers while leaping in the air, dribbled between his legs. Simpson in for Wenatchee, replacing Pete. Nelson, and then Blauman in to replace Jelson. Somewhere Pete Maravich is smiling. Pete Maravich. What a player he was back in the day at LSU. All right, here's the Panthers leading by five with the ball as Eastmont picking up the man-to-man -man defense, bringing it well into the near half court as Blauman runs into the screen. Now inside it goes to Parmener, kicks it out to Nip for another three off the mark, and the rebound tracked down by the Panthers. Garrett Long. A minute to play here in the first quarter. Panthers will get to try it again here. Got it inside to Parmenter, but he decides not to go for the shot. Instead, he kicks it out for the outside look. Here's, here's Nipfer hit his first shot. Now he'll penetrate to the hoop and call for the travel. Decked his head and took an extra step and forcing his way to the... Lane is pretty good about drive into the basket and that's what he did since he missed his last couple uh, outside shots here's Haberloff now 35 seconds left now they got Leeson open but they got him open with a with a, a screen <laughs> I'm guessing I didn't see it it's what we call in the Taekwondo world as a forearm shiver Second foul on Esparza, so they get fouled on the screen off as they try to get Leeson open as the Panthers have done a nice job defending him, at least here in the first quarter. That would have been Leeson's first three-point attempt. Doesn't count. So now 23 seconds to go. Panthers with the ball. Shot clock is off, so they'll try to go for the final shot here. Blauman with it, guarded by Leeson. Now he'll come and get the screen. He'll come around the screen. Now to the hoop. All the way to the bucket and in. Can't teach that. Incredible move. 4.9 seconds to go as the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Eastmont ball. There is that gap that people know when at you, Jim. It was lost near the locker room. And it comes to Lee Son. Lee Son tries to get in the front court to attempt a shot. Now it's a long shot at the buzzer it will not go so after one quarter here in Wenatchee it's the Panthers 11 the Wildcats 4 we'll be back with more after this on Coho 101 Panther basketball here on Coho 101. It's Ian Dunn and Mark Miller. As we're just about ready to start the second quarter, as Eastmont will take it into the back court to start things off. Panthers leading 11 to 4. Eastmont 
trouble offensively here in the first quarter, and we've got another foul away from the ball. will be on Blauman away from the ball. Last three fouls called been away from the ball. Officials are going to keep control of this contest. Six-team foul. Here's the long jumper by Leeson off the mark. Now he's 0 for 2 from three-pointers. So the Eastmont sharpshooter off to a cold start as Carlson's back in the game. The high post. Now the hesitation dribble. Now he'll kick it back out to Blauman. Offense has been the entire world of Carlson with the Panthers. Right side to Nipfer. Off the screen to the right. Now to Carlson. Buck knocked away from him. Eastmont controls the loose ball. Here's Cavillo in the open court. Kicks it to Wellborn. The open shot. In and out. Parman are there for the rebound. A one-handed rebound. Ahead it comes to Nipfer in the front court. Now Blauman. Panthers on top. 11-4. to four. About a minute gone by here in the second quarter. And this play in game in the big nine between the number three and the number six seeds as Blauman's outside shot is an air ball. And quickly back comes Eastman. Ahead it comes to Leeson. Pull up Jay. Bounces in. Two pointer shooters roll. 11 to six lead for Wenatchee. Eastmont only three and nine in big nine play. Their two lot their two wins were against Eisenhower. The only winless team in the Big Nine. I watch Eastmont now is cheating over to double team on Carlson. And they also beat one at you. Here's Blauman, another move to the hoop. He missed it. And Leeson got the rebound. Another chance to cut into this Wenatchee lead. Here's Leeson, pull up jumper off the back iron, but there's Simpson with the rebound. He'll back it in. The shot off glass is in. His first bucket cuts the lead to three with two, now six minutes to go. Two of Eastmont's four rebounds have been offensive. Wenatchee been stuck on 11 for a while. Here's the drive by Long in there for the basket. He has grown up. He has learned how to control that body and create space. 543 to go here in the second quarter. 13 to 8 lead for Wenatchee is well born. Oh my goodness. Collides with Carlson. And they're gonna call Darius with his foul. That'll be his third. Coach Williams plays that. I said, I call it belly button to belly button defense. And it was a spin move, so legs got caught up together. It's kind of like those NFLs where the receiver and safety get caught up, and you're gonna get called for that foul. Carlson and Nipfer come out. Jelsing and Rick will come in as Wellborn go to the line to shoot one and one as the Panthers are now in the penalty. And the, the key is what are you going to do offensive-wise? Free throw by Wellborn is up and good. And it was just a, a Darius was a, he just innocently collided with Wellborn and he was just surprised that he got the foul. Animated was a good word how to describe it. The next free throw by Wellborn is up and good. That cuts the lead to three once again. 13 to 10 is the lead for Wenatchee. When Carlson was out before, Panthers resorted to three points. Ball goes inside to Parmenter. His turn to the hoop is up and good. A little drop step move there. Not today. Extends the lead to five as Eastmont will operate on offense. Lisa off the screen to the right. Now penetrates. Floater up and good. That's a shooter shot. Could have gone on a layup off the uh, board because, nope, I'll just float it straight in. Panthers again lead by three, 15 to 12. Here's, here's Long. Now to Blauman. He'll penetrate along the baseline. Now bring it back out. Cross court to Bl well, That was Long, rather. Now here's Blauman. To Long. Long will penetrate all the way to the hoop and in. And there's a foul. A nice sliding as a drive hard to the right. And then a really little tricky shift to the left. And going up for the right-handed layup. Fouls on Nelson. That's his first as Blauman comes out. Cole Hansen comes in. The 5'9 junior outside shooting specialist. 
Here it's one for two from the line so far. See if he can chance to complete the three-point play. Cap it off, Garrett. He does. Six points for Long. Panther lead is six points, 18 to 12. Eastmont's been able to answer all the Panther buckets here in the second quarter for the most part. Here's Cavillo. Also coming in the game was Garrett Smith. As Wellborn is blocked on his move to the hoop, but they're going to call the foul against Spencer Rickle. Rickle with the body. Garrett Long also hit him on the hand to make sure the sh shot didn't go in. So take your choice on Panther fouls on that one. Panthers racking up the fouls here in the first half. Wellborn was at the line moments ago, hit a couple, makes it again. There are eight Panther fouls. Only Darius Carlson in trouble with three. Esparza comes back in for Cavillo for the Wildcats. Who are right now back in this ball game. They are matching the Panthers hoop for hoop for the most part. Wellborn looking good at the line. He's got four points, all from free throws. Here's Long, an open jumper, top of the circle, three-pointer up and good. I've got no words. Garrett Long poised. And well, he should be. He's got a season worth of experience under his belt now. Here's Lisa. Dribbling through traffic, picks up the dribble. Now here's Esparza, hesitation dribble. Lost the dribble, but he's able to poke it to Lisan. Lisan, now he'll pull up for a three off the mark. And the rebound, the long rebound picked up by Esparza. So Eastmont will reset. Now here's Esparza down the lane, the kick to Smith. Now to Wellborn, now Lisan. He can shoot those threes from deep. Got Spencer Rickle on him right now. Lisan picks up the dribble. Now at top to Nelson. Nine on the shot clock. Now Sparza drives baseline. Floater off the mark. The rebound will be tracked down by Cole Hansen. A dribbling rebound. In the front court come the Panthers leading by seven, 21 to 14, under three minutes to play here in the first half. Here's Hanson, now Rickle. Now to Long, and what a first half it's been for the freshman Long. Calling out the play. Comes off the screen to the right. To Jelsing, the three-pointer is up. Air ball. Gotta get Parmer on that block. Here's Leeson, now to Wellborn. Wellborn into the lane, the shot. But a push before the uh, shot and back to the free throw line, he'll go. Three Panthers had collapsed, the block off the lane. Gonna get a push from behind on Rickle. That's his second. Non-shooting foul, but it is one and one. So Wellborn's made yeah, he makes another free throw. He's made four in a row, now five in a row. Wilburn's got a pretty flawless delivery. If it doesn't go in, it's going to be close. Kuski comes back in for the Wildcats, replacing Nelson. So Wilburn's been hurting the Panthers on the line. And it's up and good. Not even a kiss of rim. Cuts the lead back to five at 21 to 16. 218 to go here in the first half. Here's Long. He's had the big first half for Wenatchee. Especially since Carlson's been, been on the bench. And long, another free long jumper missed it. Parmenter. The long rebound tracked down by Parmenter. Five rebounds. He's oh. trying to back down Wellborn to the hoop off the mark. And he got the another rebound. One. Panthers will set it up again. The no one show. And right side to Jelson. Parmen are posting. Now inside to Rickle. Rickle grabs. Now he'll go to the hoop and in. A lot of contact there. Eastmont was looking for the offensive foul, but the refs didn't give it to him. 
23-16 lead for Wenatchee. Here's Leeson into the lane. The hesitation, the Block. step to the hoop, blocked away. Spencer Rickle. And it'll be out of bounds to Wenatchee. There's a gold star moment right there. Offense and defensive <laughs> side of the Spencer ball. Spencer Rickle knows how to get the crowd going, doesn't he? Anthony Leeson also has those little head fakes and shoulder fakes. And Rickle just waited and waited and waited. And timed it perfectly. Here's Long into the front court to Hanson. Now on top to Parmenter. Left side, Jelsing. Oh, he wants to take that three, but he thinks against it. There it is. Inside to Parmenter. Oh, he's going for the drop. He hasn't stripped away. Here's Leeson in the front court. Now to Esparza, three-pointer. In and out. And Hanson there for the rebound. Panthers lead 23-16. 44 seconds to go here in the first half. Long, left side to Jelsing. And inside to Parmenter. Turns, off glass, misses it. Got the rebound. He's put back. He's blocked, but there's a foul. This, no one. Parmenter, seven rebounds, four offensive boards, and will be at the line. Fouls on Kuski. That's his second. Two shots coming up for Nolan Parmenter. That's uh, two points here in the first half. Free throws up and good. Nolan's one of the better free throw shooters for one entry. And Nolan definitely taking that spot for Carlson to keep that ball underneath is where the Panthers have been effective. Wellborn comes out for the Wildcats. Simpson back in. And the free throws up and good. Both on shooters rolls. Now under 30 seconds to go. Panthers lead is 9. 25-16. Kuski. Now Esparza. Esparza into the lane. The shot. And in. Running floater. Tough shot. Plenty of time, boys. 13 seconds to go. Panthers will call out the signal. Here's Long with it. Long. To Jelsing. Jelsing to launch the three off the mark. Hansen. But there's Hansen with the rebound. His turnaround shot almost goes in. So at the break, the Panthers will take a lead into the halftime locker room. Here at halftime, it's Wenatchee 25, Eastmont 18. You're listening to Panther basketball here on Coho 101, also on the NCW Live channel tonight. We'll be back in just a moment. basketball here on Coho 101 as we're just about ready to start the second half again it's Ian Dunn and Mark Miller here courtside at Wenatchee High School Panthers with a 25 to 18 lead we'll check it in to Garrett Long who had the big first half and on the court is Darius Carlson playing with three fouls so he's gonna have to be careful here's Blauman with it on the right wing Nate's a guy who likes to use his speed to get to the rack, but he's got to find the opening. Now Long, trying to get something inside. Oh, they're doubling Darius. Ball goes into Parmenter. Now to Jelsing. He'll try the long jumper. Missed it. Carlson, Carlson, though, gets the rebound. His shot inside is off the mark, but there's Jelsing for the rebound and put back. J.J. Jelsing. His first basket. Second rebound. Panthers again up by nine. Of course, Wenatchee, first two meetings, won by 20 points. Plus. And Eastmont won here at Wenatchee's home court by a point as Leeson tries another three, missed it. And the rebound saved inbounds by Carlson. Now there's a scramble for it. Long had it on the ground, and he's fouled as he tried to pass it off to a teammate. A loose ball scrounge that lasted maybe 10 seconds. So a foul on Eastmont. It's going to be the third foul on Kuski. Leeson missed his fifth three-pointer. It a step back. So Eastmont picking it up full court man-to-man. -man. Here's Long into the front court. Panthers with a nine-point advantage as we're just underway here in the second half. 
Here's Jelsing inside to Carlson. Quickly double teamed. He'll go against the double team. Blocked away by Wellboy. By his buddy. Back come the Wildcats. Here's Lisan in the lane. The hop to the hoop. Has it blocked away. Incredible. That's that's his favorite move, I think, as the ball goes into Carlson, in and out of his hands as Simpson will pick up the loose ball. Back on the Wildcats. Here's Lee Son. Hesitation dribble into the lane. He'll kick it out to Wellborn. Wellborn penetrates, steps to the hoop. The shot off the mark. And Honor. there's Parmenter with another rebound. He had, eight. he had seven in the first half. Panthers will set up the offense now. Eastmont. Only three wins in the Big Nine this year. One of those against Wenatchee. Now here's Jelsing out to Par out to Parmenter. Nolan working out top against Kuski. Now drives to the hoop. All the way to the lane. Missed it. There's Carlson with a rebound. His putback's off the mark. Quickly back comes Wellborn. Got J.C. J Jelsing in front. Missed it. Back come the Panthers. Ahead it comes to Parmenter. Parmenter drives to the hoop. Blocked by Simpson. Quick, quick, up and down. Parmenter takes drive to the hoop the last two times down. Kuski comes out for Coach Waters, replaced by Esparza. And now Simpson comes out as Nelson will come back in. Panthers will check it in to Carlson. Now to Blauman. Blauman into the lane, to the hoop, and in. Using his speed to blow by his defender. Drives hard, and now he's driving to the left side. Panthers with their largest lead, 11 points. Here's Wellborn, a three-pointer. Off the mark, and the long rebound will be tracked down by Eastmont in the backcourt. Ahead it comes to Esparza. Now to Wellborn. Wellborn into the lane, turns, shot. Partially blocked by Blauman, but they're going to say they got him on the arm. Wellman has a 360 move before the jump shot, and Parmenter played it perfectly, was right there to stop the 360, but going to get him on the hand. And so they're calling Nolan with the foul. That'll be his second. That's two on Carlson. And Rickle also is a player off the bench, plays that post. Wellborn two. just killed the Panthers in the first half with his free throws, and he rattles another one in. He had six points, all from the line. Everything that's technically wrong with Lonzo Ball's shot is technically right with Wellborn. <laughs> Watch these elbows and knees line up. Well, if you can make eight in a row, you're doing something right. And he does. I don't think he can miss if he tried. That'll cut the lead to nine, 29 to 20, 4.43 to go here in the third quarter. This play-in game in the Big Nine. Here's Blauman, another blow to the hoop. To Jelsing, his short jumper's up and good. His second basket. Timeout called by Eastmont. 4.32 to go third quarter. Panthers lead 31-20. We're back after this on Coho 101. Listening to Panther basketball here on Coho 101, also on the NCW Life Channel tonight. Offensive boards has been the difference. Panthers on top by 11. Here's this. Here's Leeson in the front court. He'll pull up for the shot off the mark, and the rebound will be out of bounds to Eastman. Blomman got his paw on it, but couldn't draw it in. Haberlock comes in for Leeson for the Wildcats as they check it in. Baseline left. Ball comes in left side to Garrett Smith, who came in off the timeout. Here's Haberlock into the lane. Turns. Now to Sparza. Three-pointer. Good. That broke the seal. First one for the Wildcats. Cuts the Panther lead to eight at 31-23. Here's Blauman now to Carlson. Around the horn they go to Long now. High post to Blauman. Looked inside to Carlson, not there. Now Jelsing, he's looking at Carlson. Now to Carlson, drop step, off glass, missed it. 
And the rebound, loose ball. And as Eastmont was struggling to gather it in, Coach Waters calls the timeout and uh, preserves possession. 3.42 to go third quarter. 31-23. Panthers lead it. We're back after this on Coho 101. on top by 8 31 to 23 against their rival the Eastmont Wildcats Eastmont with the ball now here's Cavillo with it crossover into the lane now the kick to Smith now to Wellborn pull up shot from the free throw line off the mark and there's Blauman with the rebound ahead it comes to Jelsing he'll pull up for the shot hit it JJ has the range he couldn't hit the three pointers but he hit the 20 footer he's got six points this quarter alone here's Haberlock with it as the Panthers lead is now 10 Haberlock three pointer up and good Spot heating up that'll cut the lead to seven at 33 26 three minutes remaining here in the third quarter Panthers operating now. Here's Carlson out top. Now to Jelsing. He'll try another jumper off the mark. And there's Eastmont with the rebound. Cavillo ahead to Haberlock. He'll try another three. Short. Long. Off the back rim. Rebound went at you. Here's Blauman in the backcourt. Gets tied up. Now to Haberlock. So Smith did a good job scrambling for it so a chance to cut into the lead here's Haberlock floater in the lane missed it but he drew the foul could be one of three Panthers as we converge to block off the lane third foul on Parmenter so two Wenatchee starters with three fouls Parmenter and Carlson both on the floor at the moment so Haberlock's been a real spark plug since he came in the game he hit a three now he's at the line to shoot, shoot two. Eastmont goes 0 of 10 from three pointers, and that boom, make the first two in a row. Nipfer will come in for Jelson as Haberlock hits the first free throw and cuts the lead to six. No look down the bench for Coach Williams to, for Carlson or Parmenter to come out. And he hit the second one. What? You know, that's what that's what Eastmont's going to have to do here tonight. If they're going to stay in this game, hit their free throws. And so far, they're 10 for 10 from the line. Panthers with the ball, leading by five. As when it, Eastmont's cut the lead. And a near steal by Esparza. Now pull up by Blauman. Missed it. And uh-oh. Nolan Parmenter knew he did wrong. He tried to go over the back for that rebound. And just picked up his fourth foul. It was just like an automatic motion. He tried to stop himself in mid-stride. Couldn't. Over the back. To the bench goes Nolan. And Rickle comes in to replace him. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Here's Haberlock with it. Guarded by Nipfer. Now to Cavillo. Panthers in his own defense now. As Smith tries to go in the lane. Has it knocked away. Now it's a... Wellborn, Wellborn off the screen left. Now Haberlock. Crossover into the lane, tied up. No, Steel. Steel stole it from him. Garrett Long. And Coach Williams calls a timeout as there's a scramble on the court. Now a foul, I think, before the timeout was called. Well, the officials may have to talk this over to see if the foul happens. Fouls on Cavillo is first. So Panthers will have it out of bounds. So now Coach Williams still wants the timeout as things got a little bit scattered out there. Coach Williams probably wants to settle the guys down a little bit. Minute 34 to go here in the third quarter. Panthers on top by five. And we're back after this on Coho 101. Panthers with the ball. Leading by five. Working it around the perimeter, tried to go inside to Carlson, tipped away by Wellborn. 
Turnover Panthers. Wildcats control the loose ball. In the front court they come. Another chance to cut into this Panther lead of five points. Here's Wellborn, drop step move. Now to Esparza. Esparza drives, kicks to Haberlock, three pointer off the mark. And I think we've got an over the back. No, it's going to be a foul on Wenatchee. Foul on Nipfer. It was non shooting foul, it was fighting, fighting for the rebound. Eastmont checks the ball in to Cavillo. Cavillo crossover now into the lane. The kick to Simpson. His short jumper's up and good. Cuts the lead to three. Panthers only eight points here in the third quarter. Six by Jelsing. And another attempt to get it into Carlson. Ball is tied up. And the ball nearly tied up. And the... Uh, the alert coach Williams calls the timeout to preserve the possession. Would have been a turnover on the Panthers. Very astute by Just our coach. 38 seconds to go here in the third quarter, so we'll take a break as well. We'll be back after this on Coho 101. Underneath presence may not be there. Panthers check it into the backcourt to Blauman. They've tried to get it inside to Carlson. They've turned it over a couple times doing that as Blauman drives to the hoop, but he misses the lay-in. Tried to swap to his right hand at the last second. Eastmont with the ball can tie it. Tie with a three-pointer. Here's Cavillo a three. Missed it. Carlson the rebound. Big board. 14 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Panthers with the ball. Blauman calls out the signal. With the ball. Drives to the lane. To the hoop. And a blocking foul is called. It could have been a charge just as easily. And Nate Blauman, folks, when he crosses the three-point line, you know what he's doing. He's going straight to the hoop no matter what. <laughs> and forces the contact, and so you never know. Some of these could be charges, but he goes in no holds barred. The referee, Steve Simonson, with a flair for the dramatic, he kind of held off following that block at the last moment and to kind of draw the drama. And then got the little jump step to call it. Blauman misses the free throw. Nate with six points all here in the second half. Fourth quarter, just four seconds away. Second free throw is off the mark. He got the rebound, goes to the hoop, missed it, but he got fouled again. Shall we try again? Nate Blauman picks up his fifth rebound. We go back to the hoop. Fouls on Simpson, that's his first. Both teams now with four team fouls. So Blauman will try it again from the free throw line. He hesitated before he shot it, but he still made it. That might be the ugliest free throw in the history of basketball. <laughs> That's not how they teach you to shoot free throws. It was a, it was a complete hesitation move. Yep. I don't think on purpose. No. Like he, I don't know if the crowd bothered him. Or I, I think he actually lost his balance and had to regain it. And he, oh, he did it again. That was on purpose. It was a, a juke move on purpose. They're going to call Blauman for trying to force Eastmont. I don't think in he did line. it on purpose. So Eastmont with the ball, trailing by four as they'll heave one at the buzzer in the third quarter. But Eastmont has shot their way back into the game. The Panthers hold on to a four point lead as we head to the fourth quarter. They lead 34 30, and we'll be back after this on Coho 101. Check the ball in to start this fourth quarter. Panthers on top by four, 34-30. Again, it's Ian Dunn and Mark Miller here with you tonight. Ballcats got back into it by hitting those two three-pointers in the third quarter. Leeson back in the game. He can be a streaky hot. 
Here's a drive to the hoop by Esparza is up and good. Great shot. Jelsing actually had a hand on it. Cuts the Wenatchee lead to two. Panthers, the number three seed in the big nine. Oh, nearly a steal there. Now to Carlson on the baseline. Now a move to the hoop. Hands off to Rickle. Rickle's shot inside is off the mark. But Jelson got the rebound. Now long at three-pointers up and good. His first points of the second half. Put those to J.J. Jelsing, who got the incredible rebound. Here's Cavillo into the lane. The kick out. Simpson, the head fake. Now kicks to Lisa on his three-pointer. Off the mark. And tracked down by Blauman. Races into the front court to Long. To the hoop. Missed the shot, but there's Found a it. foul. Blauman with a rebound raced all the way down the court. A two-on-one break. Fed to his left. And Garrett Long takes the brunt of the Philadelphia Eagle and, coming through. And for Esparza, who's been such a spark, that's now his third foul. It'll send Long to the line to shoot two. 12 points in the game for Garrett. He just hit a three-pointer moments ago. And the free throw rattles in. I mean, just rattled. I thought it was going to bounce on the front of the rim before dipping in. For Eastmont, Haberlock back in for Lisan. Gives Wenatchee a six-point advantage as Nolan Parman is set to check back in. With his four fouls. Free throws off the mark by Garrett. Eastmont down by six with the ball. Here's Wellborn. Nearly a reach-in steal. Now Esparza, three-pointer, bounces off the rim. He got his own rebound. And then he had it knocked out of bounds by Long as Parmenter will come in for Rickle. So Spencer with the four fouls coming back in for Coach Williams. Eastmont game is a three-pointer. They're two of 13 so far. They'll have to click for the Wildcats to win it. Ball comes in to Cavillo now at top to Haberlock. The three-pointer is up and good. Oh, my goodness. That says that one right there. Cuts the lead to three. Here's Blauman in the front court. Blauman knows one speed all out. 38-35. Panthers on top. Here's Carlson. Now Blauman. Looking for a screener. Now he'll race into the lane, kick it out. Left side, here's Jelsing, a three-pointer in and out. And the rebound inside to Simpson. Not the shot the Panthers need. Back comes Eastmont, down by three. As we got a loose ball on the court, Parmenter has it. The man with four fouls is there for the turnover and the scrum. And a reach-in foul as Parmenter went to the deck to get the ball. So the foul will be on Simpson, his second. Nelson comes in for Wellborn for the Wildcats. 6.05 to go here in the ball game. And what a ball game it has been. Low scoring, only 38-35 our score. When the offense has done well, when Parman and Carlson are playing together, like now. So the three-guard lineup's in with Blauman, Long, and Jelsing. Carlson and Parmenter. This is actually the starting lineup. J.J.'s had a good second half, except for shooting the three. Oh, for Here's four. another three by Long. Off the mark. Nelson there for the rebound. Eastmont, another chance to tie with a three-pointer or draw closer with a two. Here's Esparza to his right. Kicks it to, to Nelson. And we've got a charging foul on Esparza. And that will be his fourth. That's huge for Eastmont. As far as it plays the game, just like Nate Blauman for the Panthers, it's all out, it's full, it's fast. And after he had the dish out, he still found himself out of control. Panthers waited for it, took the hit. Sparza will take a seat. Leeson back in. Panthers check it into Jelson. Now to Blauman. Nate into the front court. Set up the offense. Panthers on top by three, 38-35. Here's Blauman right side, Parmenter posting, now to, out top to Carlson, inside to Parmenter, he's fouled on the shot attempt by Simpson. And he was fouled on the shoulder coming over, great feed into Nolan, and that is where it has been effective, get that one-on-one -on -one down, down under. Big time foul trouble for the Wildcats, as Kuski, Simpson have three, Esparza has four, Parmenter.
Parmenter misses the free throw. Nolan Parmenter playing with four out there as well. Nice purple shoes on the senior. His last game on this court. Free throw is up and good. No Second question. One. No question. Panther lead is now four at 39-35. 5.09 to go here in the ball game. Here's Haberlock with it out top, guarded by Blauman. Swings it to Simpson. Simpson to, to Nelson. And then knocked away by Blauman, but Leeson tracked it into the backcourt. And timeout called by Coach Waters. 4.51 to go here in the fourth quarter. 39-35. Panthers lead it. We're back after this on Coho 101. Sports Therapy wants to get you back into life. Eastmont with the ball with 13 on the shot clock. Ball comes into Cavillo. Now the clock under 10. Now to Leeson. Looking for a pass off. Five on the shot clock. Four. Cross court to Cavillo. He's going to have to fire. The long one is off the mark. And the rebound to Wenatchee. Garrett Long. So Long with the ball. Works to his left to Jelsing. Man, that high post feed seemed to, has seemed to work for Wenatchee when they can get it. Here's Blauman a drive to the hoop. His reverse lay in missed it. And there's Nelson with a rebound. Pretty move. Nate Blauman just wouldn't go. Still a four-point Wenatchee advantage as Cavill works. To Simpson, to the hoop, missed it. And the rebound inside to Blauman. Three on two break. To Jelsing. He'll pull up for the 20-footer and hit it. Eight points for J.J. Jelsing all in the second half. Four for four from two-point world. Stay there, J.J. Six-point Wenatchee lead at 41-35. 3.42 to go in the game. Here's Haberlock working. He'll pass off to Simpson on the right corner, right wing. Now he'll kick it to Nelson. Now at top to Cavillo. 12 on the shot clock. 11. Cavillo to Simpson. Simpson in the lane. Now to Haberlock. 6-5 to Cavillo. Drives in to the hoop. Missed it, but he drew the foul. Darn it. Had Blom and beat. He tried to reach and get the ball, but didn't quite have the height. Going to get over the back. Fouls on Blauman. Kind of a bailout call as Cavillo was driving as the clock was winding down. Blauman quite a game. Seven boards. Tough on the defensive side. Free throw is up and good by Cavillo. His first point. Esparza back in with the four fouls, replacing Simpson for Eastmont. So here we go. Parman with four fouls for the Panthers. Esparza, four fouls for the Wildcats. And they have, the Eastmont has not missed a free throw tonight. And he bounced that one in. But the secret weapon. They are 12 for 12 from the line tonight. But the Panthers still lead it by four at 41-37. Here's Long, right side to Jelsing. Out top to Parmenter, inside to Carlson. Carlson, drop step move to the hoop. Has it stripped away. And there's Jelsing to pick up the loose ball. He'll fire it, miss it, and there's Nelson high for the rebound. Back come the Wildcats, looking for something in transition. Haberlock all the way to the bucket and the hoop. He's got 10 points all in the second half. It's now a, a two-point game. Carlson double team that last effort. Panthers with the ball, 2.38 to go in the game, leading by two. Jelsing on the right corner, cross court to Long. He'll call out the play. Boy, do the Panthers need a bucket here. He'll come off the screen to the right. And tried to go inside to Carlson. Somehow he got it. He made the basket and drew the foul. As animated as I've seen Darius Carlson, as he split between two defenders, went straight up top. His first basket since the opening minutes of the game. Fouls on Cavillo. Now he has three. I didn't think there was anywhere Darius was going to get that basket. But somehow, some way, 
He made it happen. Can he convert the free throw here? Yes. Oh, that was a swish and huge. The lead is now five for Wenatchee at 44-39. 2-12 to go in the game. This gym just took a breath. And Jelsing nearly picks Lisan's pocket. And in doing so, forces Coach Waters to call the timeout. 2.06 to go in the ball game. Panthers lead by five. And we'll be right back after this on Coho. Smart with the ball now. Down by five. Two minutes remaining in the game. Out top to Lisan. Panthers in a zone now. In the right corner to Haberlock. He'll try the three. Missed it. And the rebound inside will be out of bounds to Winacci. Eastmont is going to live or die on that three-point shot. And they are going to pick up in a zone press. We have not seen that today. Then they don't. They fall back. And Lisan's going to come out of the game. Interesting move there. He's been cold shooting tonight. So Panthers up by five with the ball. Minute 45 to go in the ball game. Eastmont now in his own defense. What kind of shot will the Panthers come up with here? Now to Long. Looks like they're going to try to burn a little clock. Here's Long off the screen to the right. In the right corner to Jelsing. Over the top to Blauman. Left side, Parmenter. He'll drive to the hoop. Lost the handle. Loose ball picked up by Eastmont. Minute Not, 20 to go. Head uh, comes to Esparza. Esparza in the lane. The jump stop. The shot. Got it. Just a professional move by Esparza. Used his size to get open to Grant Long. Nice That's jump stop. Wenatchee a three-point advantage with a minute five to go. Don't go anywhere, folks. Here's Long off the screen to the right. Now Blauman. Who's going to come up with the shot for Wenatchee? They just had it stripped away last time without a shot. Now Jelsing. Jelsing. Cross court to Parmenter. Now Parmenter in the lane. The shot short. And the rebound to Esparza. Or excuse me, Cavillo. And the foul on Blauman. Parmenter is coming across the lane. It was a little half hook shot. Contested the whole way. Wouldn't go in. 39 seconds remaining as Lisan will come back in. It's a three-point advantage for the Panthers. So anything can happen here, folks. Eastmont could tie it with a three-pointer. And this may be their final opportunity to do so. Lisan into the front court to Haberlock. Eastmont guarded by Blauman. The 3 of 16. From Initiates three. the dribble. Blauman guarding him tightly. Now comes to his right. And a timeout called. So 28 seconds remaining. There's a timeout on the court. Three-point Wenatchee lead. We'll be back after this on Coho 101. lead by three 44 41 so coach waters calls the timeout mark to try to set up a play you would think they have five seconds differential from the shot clock and the game you, clock and you would think you would think it's going to be a three-pointer you don't need it with 28 seconds but i'm guessing that's where we go they check it into haberlock and if we foul odds are he's haberlock to the right here's lisa on a three-pointer yes! hey, what a time what a time what a time His to first three-pointer of the game. Panthers in the front court. 13-12. And timeout called by Coach Williams. Two scopes everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Leeson, unconscious. He missed all his threes all night long, but he makes one when they absolutely had to have it with the season on the line. Wow. And it was just automatic, a complete natural motion from the deep in the right side. You can tell there's just no thought. It's just going to go. Leeson was 0-5. Hits his first one. Oh, my goodness. So Panthers with 11 seconds. 
The game on the line, where do they go with the ball here? They've had trouble on offense all night. I'll tell you, I don't think Coach Waters is going to let it go underneath or to a high post to Carlson or Farmer. It's going to have to be one of the guards from out front is going to have to hit it. That's going to be Long, Jelsic, or Blauman. Don't think they'll let it go in. Or do you foul? Oh, you really can't. Um, or do you let Garrett Long try to win it on a three-pointer? I think it's going to be whatever happens to be open at the 2.4 second mark. Love to see it underneath with Carlson or Parmenter. Don't think we'll get it. So Carlson that. sets up on the high post. Parmenter wide on the wing. Panthers will check it in far sideline. Here we go. Long. long across the timeline. Comes to his left. Now off the Carlson screen. He'll penetrate to the hoop. Off glass. Missed it. And the rebound to Eastmont. Racing into the front court to Sparza. To the hoop. Blocked. And it's JJ blocked. Jelsing with an incredible block. They say it was after the shot. It's so it won't go in the books. Oh, my goodness. goodness. We're all tied at 44, heading to overtime. Coach Waters. Oh, my goodness. What a ball game. Extracurricular on extracurricular. We're headed wow. to overtime, folks. We'll be right back after this on Coho 101. Welcome back, everyone. It's Panther basketball here on Coho 101 as we are headed to overtime here in this play-in game in the Big Nine between Wenatchee, the number three seed, and Eastmont, the number six seed. After Anthony Lisan hit a miracle three-pointer to tie the game, 11 seconds left. Garrett Long on a set play all the way, came off the screen to the high post, drove in, could not make it happen, and then a miracle block going all the way transition the other end by Eastmont to keep it here, nil, even. I think they were trying to get Garrett on a penetration, either the hoop or the foul. And he's drawn that foul three or four times. And the, the tip will go the way of Wenatchee. Nice hustle play by Parmenter. Now Long will operate top side. He'll kick it right side to Blauman. Blauman off the screen. Now back to Long out top. Eastmont in a zone defense now. And this was successful for him down the stretch. We didn't see a zone at all no. in the first half. No, it's really to the last two minutes of the game. Here's the floater in the lane by Carlson. It's up and good. That's a move not everybody has. That gives Wenatchee a two-point lead. 3.20 to go here in the first overtime. Very important to draw first blood. Here's a Sparza. Now to Nelson. To Haberlock. Pull-up shot. Yes. Big time. He's got 12 points all here in the second half. Tied again at 46. Three minutes to go here in the overtime. Here's Long to his right. Into the lane, to the hoop. And the shot is up and good. What a basket by Garrett Long. The same call that was made in regulation that didn't go happens here. Back comes Eastmont. Looking to tire, take the lead with a three. Wellborn now. Wellborn into the lane. Now the kick out to Haberlock. He'll try the three off the mark. And the rebound inside to Parmenter. What a huge rebound. Every rebound is big. Wide open on that three-pointer. As a matter of fact, too wide open. Had to think about it. 2.22 to go here in the overtime. Panthers up by two. Here's Jelson going to try the three. Hard off the iron. Parmenter couldn't go after the rebound with the fourth foul. Back comes Eastmont. Esparza down the lane. The kick out to Haberlock. Now, Wellborn, the long shot, missed it. And Long tracks down the long rebound, and he's fouled on the play. Long had to run 20 feet, full speed to get to it. Wins the race and then gets And I think it. Esparza just, nope, Wellborn. That'll be his fourth. Six rebounds for Jarrett Long. And now it's two shots coming up as it's double bonus time for the Panthers. So Garrett at the line can give the Panthers extend their two-point lead. And boy, do they need it. 
free throw is up and off the back iron. Oh, my goodness. Anybody's contest, folks. A minute 59 remaining. Boy, we needed those two free throws. You know Eastmont can nail a three and tie it up again as he hits the second one. Count it. 16 points for Long. Now under two minutes to play. Eastmont down by three with the ball. Here's Haberlock on the right wing. Comes to the top. Now down the lane to Wellborn. Now to Leeson. Leeson head fakes. Backs up. He's looking for the three-pointer. Blauman didn't give it to him. Now Leeson with it. Carlson on him. Off the screen to the right. Now he'll pull it for the three. Off the back iron. No good. The long rebound will be tracked down by Eastmont. So they'll try it again. Here's Leeson. Right side to Wellborn. Into the lane he comes. The kick out. Aberlock. The three. Off the mark. And the rebound to Garrett Long. A minute 19 remaining. Panthers by three, 49-46. Eastmont really needs a stop on this possession. Long comes to his left to, to Blauman. Panthers need to get some kind of shot here, either the hoop or uh, some foul shots. Now here's Garrett Long, now Blauman, 7-6. Jelsing, the three-pointer, air ball. And back comes Eastmont. Another chance to tie with a three. Here's Leeson down the lane. The kick to Esparza for three. Off the mark. And the rebound to Jelsing. And he calls timeout. Heady play there by J.J. 35 seconds remaining. Little doubt what Eastmont wants to do. We're going to fire the three-pointer. Leeson, I think, could have gone in for the layup there. But that is not our... We're going for the line. Well, and what do they say? <laughs> it's like fool's gold. You can live and die by the three. And they had, what, three chances to tie the game yeah. with three balls? And there are three guys who've made threes in the game, Lisan, Esparza, and uh, Haberlock. And missed the last three in a row. Yet again, passed up a potential two there. So, three-point lead by Wenatchee. Wenatchee wow. still has the ball, and the Eastmont, will they, will they be forced to foul at this point? Well, you know, and, and Wenatchee hasn't done himself any favors. The, you know, the last three-pointer, you know, J.J. 0 for 6 from that from three-pointers. You really look to try and get into that, you know, with that zone, you know, perhaps that block's going to be open. But since Eastmont swapped to that zone, they completely shut off the inside. So I believe there is got yeah, 35 seconds remaining. And just same, a three-point lead. Same five for the Panthers since the end of midway through the third quarter. So Eastmont looks like they're going to pick it up full court. 35 seconds lead by three. Panthers basically got everybody in the backcourt expecting this. Ball comes into Long. And Long into the front court ahead to Blauman. No foul just yet. Here's here's Long. Back to Carlson. To Long. He'll penetrate. To Jelsing now. Back to Long. 12 on the shot clock. Jelsing. Dearly stole. Now, now Jelsing with it. Here's Parmenter. Eight. Seven on the shot clock. Six. To Jelsing. Inside to Carlson. To the hoop. Missed it. And timeout called by Eastmont with 4.9 seconds to go. No foul on the play on Carlson. Oh, my goodness. Let's see where we are. The officials going to converge. Did, East, did Eastmont have a timeout? The officials are discussing it. So apparently they did have a timeout. That would have been a technical foul had they not. So five seconds, the ball is... And they have to go the full length of the court. 92 feet away. So the best Eastmont could hope for here is a, some kind of desperation heave from midcourt. So if the throw comes in around midcourt, it's going to give five seconds to cut one loose. Yet again, Eastmont, but, three players that are very consistent can hit that three-point shot. What? What Eastmont will try to do is throw something up near midcourt, but that's exactly what the Panthers will set up to defend. 
they're going to they're going to try to force him into the throw it into the back court because that'll use up more time. Lane Nipfer does check in a little more speed. Nolan Parmenter will sit the last five seconds out. So Panthers on the verge here. They give 5.5 uh, seconds. Eastmont has to go the length of the court. They've got three players in the front court, just one in the back court. That's Kuski. Coach Williams Coach. setting the defense. Carlson standing at about midcourt to Kuski. Into the front court he comes. He'll hand off to Lisan, the three pointer. Oh my goodness, he made it! I don't believe it! Are you kidding me? Lightning has struck twice. I don't believe it. He, he made the shot at the buzzer. The Coho Radio Tower cannot attract lightning like that to end the uh, reg regulation. Tony Leeson hits oh. a three-pointer. Now he backs up with seconds on the clock. It's oh, a my gosh. Three-pointer. What a ball game. And there's not even a smile on his face. It's a day at the office. Unbelievable. You will not forget this night, folks. We are heading to a second overtime. And we've got big-time foul trouble out there for both teams. Parmenter with four, Carlson with three, Blauman with three. For Eastmont, Kusky with three, Simpson with three, Wellborn with three, Cabillo with three, and Sparza with four. Oh, my goodness. Look at Anthony Lisa. They're all patting him on the back. He's like, going, yeah, what? Unbelievable. That's what, I, that's what I'm here for. The winner gets to hit the road to take on Sunnyside. <laughs> so oh, it's not an easy goodness. task no matter who gets it. What a play ball game. Unbelievable. So Kusky raced across the court, and then he handed it off to Lisan, and he hit the fallaway three. Three Wildcats were camped on the baseline. All three came up to run off that screen. Lisan was open from 18 feet 9 inches and made it count. Noah Parmenter does come back in with his four fouls. And the tip will go the way of the Wildcats. So they get the ball first here in the second overtime. Here's Lisan to Cavillo in the lane. The kick to Wellborn. Jumper in the lane off the mark and the rebound inside. It'll be out of bounds. Nate Blauman last to touch it. Off Wenatchee, I think, as the Eastmont fans are clapping. I guess that would be the call. Blauman got one hand on as he was leaped as high as he could. Couldn't quite corral it down. Second Eastmont chance. will check it in. Baseline left, and it comes to Cavillo. New shot clock. And the steal by Jelson. Jelson to the hoop. He missed it, but he drew the foul. J -J and the foul will be on Lisa. Jelsing with a, just a complete all-in human move to make the steal and then race down the court, dribbling for the layup. J.J. Jelsing has been huge here in the second half with eight points, although he has hurt the Panthers with his three shooting. It was contested all the way. These are his first free throws of the game. So now he has a chance to give the Panthers the lead with a couple of free throws. First one arches high and in. Arches as in moonshot. All of his points in the second half. As again, we're into the second overtime here. Jelsing, another free throw. Bounced it in. So the Panthers draw first blood as they did in the... And he, tri and he steal! Jelsing! J.J. Jelsing, another steal! So the Panthers with the ball, leading by two. The crowd has come to life. And Williams calling out the signal to his point guard Long. Garrett cross court to Blauman. Now back to Long. To Blauman, 10 on the shot clock. Now Long to Carlson. Carlson the dribble drive to the hoop. And in. Swap to the left hand. Indescribable. 11 points tonight. Gives Wenatchee a four point lead. Into the front court comes Eastmont with now under three minutes to play here in the second overtime. Here's Haberlock. Picks up his dribble, tightly guarded. Now to Leeson with Jelsing on him. Leeson to his left, now to Cavillo. Cavillo into the lane. 
to the hoop. The floater missed it. And the rebound will be out of bounds to Wenatchee. Gonna get Nate Blomman all there on the action. Mellon Parman are there on the defense. 2.35 to go here in the second overtime. Panthers up by four at 53-49. Long into the front court to Blauman. Panthers were not able to score until the shot clock started winding down, and somehow, some way, Carlson bailed him out. Right side to Blauman. Panthers have just have not many answers for this zone as the shot inside by Blauman's off the mark, but he got the offensive rebound, but his outlet pass will be go out of bounds to Eastmont. And in that is contact with the bomb and it comes up holding his hip. He's gonna, he's gonna come out of the game. Nipper will replace him. Bomb has eight rebounds. Those go by the wayside also. Lane Nipper with one big three-pointer in the first half. 208 to go here in the second overtime. 53-49 lead for Wenatchee. Eastmont with the ball. Here's Haberlock, guarded by Nipfer. Cross court to Cavill. He'll drive to the hoop. Now kick it out. Leeson, three in the corner. He'll miss it. There's Wellborn, high for the rebound. And we've got a loose ball picked up by Jelson. Racing to the hoop. No basket. And no basket. They're going to call him for the charge. Are you kidding me? J.J. Jelson goes to length after that loose ball. And I thought Jelson did not initiate the contact. They're going to get a forearm on the push. Blauman will come back in for Nipfer. So Jelson did make the basket, but he was called for the charging foul. So Wildcats right back in it. Minute 43 remaining. Still a four-point Wenatchee lead, 53-49. Here's Cavillo into the front court. Comes to his left. Off the lease on screen, now to the lane, the kick, to the hoop. And a blocking foul called on Carlson. That'll be his fifth. Darius Carlson did not take the fake. He knew exactly where the ball was, where the, the no, driver was that's going to get. Four, that's yeah, his four, fourth, 4, actually. Carlson. Yeah. Darius did hold his ground. So Cavillo to the line to shoot two. These Wildcats are 12 for 12 at the line tonight. And they finally miss one. Ian Dunn jinxes it, folks. Panthers finally catch a break. Eastmont has been money at the line tonight. Up to them. And he missed the second one. The rebound, though, tracked down by Haberlock. Huge offensive board by Eastmont. Here's Esparza to the hoop. The scoop shot. Missed it. The rebound. Tracked down by Wenatchee. Plowman into the front court. And timeout call. A minute 18 to go in the game. 53-49, the lead for Wenatchee. Here in the second overtime. Nate Blomman with his ninth rebound keeps Eastmont from a second chance opportunity to cut into that four-point Panther lead. We'll be back after this timeout on Coho 101. Panther basketball on Coho 101, also on the NCW Life Channel tonight. What a game we have been treated to tonight between these two rivals. Huh, Mark? I would pay to be here. In fact, I did pay to be here. <laughs> Worth every penny. Everybody had to pay to get into this one, and boy, has it been worth it. Wow, double overtime. So Panthers with the ball, leading by four. Here in the second overtime, a minute 18 to go. Still plenty of time here. Both Panther big men with four fouls, Parmenter and Carlson. Panthers will check it into Jelsing in the backcourt. Now to Long, and he's fouled. Fouled on purpose. So here's a little strategy coming in as Coach Waters wants to see how he can do at the free throw line. That's the fourth foul on Cavillo. Believe it or not, nobody has fouled out of this game yet. We've got several players in there with four fouls. Interesting strategy by Eastmont. There's a minute 14 to go. Two shots. Anytime there's a foul for one. For the 
Wildcats and Long makes him pay with make the free throw make. He's now what five of eight from free throws. So yep. minute minute 14 to go in the game. Panthers lead is now five. Garrett Long needs to be money at that line now. And he misses the second one. So it's a five-point Wenatchee lead. Esparza into the front court. A minute eight to go. He's fine. We'll look three. Esparza kicks it out to Cavillo. Cavillo to the free throw line. Hop step. Thought he traveled. Now Esparza, three-pointer, missed it. Carlson. There's Carlson with the rebound, and he's fouled in the backcourt. Somebody just fouled out. Depends on who he calls it on. It was a quick foul on purpose by Eastmont, so that's the strategy. Going to make Wenatchee make free throws. So Cavillo will be the first player to foul out, even after two overtimes. Kuski will come in. He's playing with three fouls. Coach Williams sees that and immediately sits down Nolan Parmenter in his four fouls so he doesn't lose him on this rebound opportunity. So Carlson at the line to shoot two. 55 seconds remaining. Free throws off the mark, so the Panthers have not helped themselves at the line here in this game, that's for sure. Well, there's going to be plenty more opportunities. I think Coach Waters is very clear what he's going to do. It's a good strategy, I think. Panthers that haven't proven they can knock them down. Carlson 2 of 4 tonight. Another free throw here. Makes it. Here comes Eastmont, down by 5. 50 seconds remaining now. Lisan with it. Guarded by Nipfer. Picks up his dribble. Out top to Haberlock. Haberlock looking for the screener. Now Wellborn will try a three. Long Desperation three. three. And there's Long for the rebound. Position, Garrett Long. To Blauman. They don't. <laughs> now Nipfer. And he's fouled in the backcourt by Wellborn. That again on purpose. Waters will keep the Panthers going to the line. So Nipper will get a chance to ice it for Wenatchee. Now we're getting critical time, though. Nipper not been to the line tonight. Only has one three-point shot. And another timeout called with 30 seconds remaining. Panthers lead 55-49 here in the second overtime. We're going to go ahead and keep it right here. So Lane Nipper tonight with just a three-pointer in the first half. He's really had limited uh, duty here in the second half, but heads to the free throw line to, for a couple of big opportunities. One for three. He's been put in for uh, to, to try and save Nolan Parmenter from getting his fourth foul. So Lane Nipper, though, over the past, has been a, yet again, very steady shooter. So he definitely has, can make them. Point it is, Coach Wires is going to make the Panthers do that. So far, Long and Carl in those situations have gone 50%. And it's just numbers to Eastmont. You know, their last four trips have jacked up all threes. I don't think we'll see anything different. But they fall behind by... So by I tell you what, if Nipfer can make these free throws, it would all but ice the game and give the Panthers a seven-point lead with 30 seconds to go. Nope, nope. Nobody on the line for Wenatchee. No Everybody in the backcourt. Nip for the free throw. In and out. Man, oh, man. So at very best, will be a six-point game. Last I heard, six is divisible by three. Yes. Wildcats are still in it. <laughs> yep. Nip for, I have another chance. And he makes the second one. Take it. Now it's a six-point lead. Ball comes into Wellborn. Now to Lee Son, guarded by Jelsing. He'll back up, shoot the fall away three off the back iron, and there's Nipper with the free with the rebound. He's fouled Lost in the, the backcourt. Lost the ball. Esparza, he'll shoot it. Short. There's Carlson, Carlson with the rebound. And he's fouled in the backcourt with 14.6 seconds to go. This might be all she wrote. And again, Rawcats go down and shoot a long, long three, knowing they needed two with two possessions. And Esparza fouls out. So Leeson, the miracle man in regulation in the first overtime, couldn't make that one go. And Darius Carlson can effectively end it here. Well, I think it's effectively ended already with a seven-point lead, just 14 seconds to go. 
And he makes the first free throw just to put the final dagger in. Wenatchee lead is now eight with 14 seconds to go. Second free throw is off the mark. And here's Lee Son. He'll try the long three off the back iron. The rebound inside to Eastmont, and then he gets it stripped away, and that will do it. Wenatchee's going to win it in double overtime, 57 to 49, as the Eastmont students run onto the court to congratulate their winning team tonight. Boy, oh boy, what a game this has been, Mark Miller. It took two overtimes to do it. The Panthers are celebrating. I have not heard this, Jim, this noise. Noisy since the trip to Tacoma four or five years ago. you got to credit everybody. Coach Williams plays really essentially five people from the last three, third period all the way through the fourth. Offensive rebound, definitely the, the difference. And Eastmont, you got to give credit for the comeback in that the three-pointers would not go until, what, the last fourth quarter and hit five of them to cut that deficit. And two of them are shots that will simply go down in the lure of Eastmont. Yeah, give this Eastmont team a lot of credit, and especially Anthony Lisa for those three-pointers he made to keep the game alive in the overtime. And you know what? You and I can go out there and shoot three-pointers and make a few, but it's like putting in golf. Make it now. And Anthony Leeson down by three at the last second regulation does so and then turned around and did the exact same thing with five seconds to go. And Eastmont goes the length of the court to tie it on another miracle. Just set up, though, however, for this in the second overtime, Coach Waters elects to foul the Panthers, and just enough of the free throws go in to extend that lead. And what a great feeling for these Wenatchee fans, the student body. How many times do they get a chance to run onto the court to celebrate a, a victory? This is this is one worthy of celebrating tonight. Absolutely. Panthers move on. Playoffs continue. We will be at Sunnyside on, on Thursday. Yep. Thursday night. So again, our final in double overtime. Panthers win it 57 to 49. And uh, we're going to take a break and we'll be back with our post game after this on Coho 101. Jimmy Jones. Thanks for joining us for Wenatchee Panther Basketball on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast was brought to you in part by the Wenatchee Racket and Athletic Club, the Windmill Restaurant, Les Schwab Tires. Confluence Health, TC Slingers, and the Walkabout Grill. We now return to regular programming on your source for local sports, the NCW Life Channel.